Hi there, welcome to my video about Diclofenac. This is a short and to the point video which learns you how and when to use Diclofenac. Also made a more in-depth one. If you want to know more about Diclofenac, check out the link to the video in the description. First of all, a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely as information and is not medical advice. Please contact your doctor if you're in need of medical advice. Diclofenac is a generic name and it's commonly known under the brand names Cataflan, Cambia, Zovalex, and there are some more. It's available in tablets, suppository, and injections, but it's mostly used as tablets. When can you use it? When you have fever or pain. It will lower your fever and common colds or flu, and when you're in pain, it will lower the pain, and you can use it for any form of pain like headaches, menstruational pain, astrosis, doesn't really matter. How do you use it? Preferably um, before a meal, because then it works fastest. Wait between four to six hours between doses, so you maintain the correct level of medication, not too much, not too low. And for children, it should be at least six hours, but maybe more. How long can you use it? Till your complaints are over. But if it takes more than 10 days, you should contact your doctor to see if there not, is not a better treatment. When you use Diclofenac for headaches, make sure to only do so short term, so one, two weeks. And if you use it longer, Diclofenac can lead and work to headaches and worsen yours. So this is not what you want. Regarding safety, Diclofenac may lead to vertigo, dizziness and fatigue as side effects. If you are experiencing those, it's not safe to drive. Otherwise, you can perfectly drive when using Diclofenac. Regarding alcohol, alcohol may worsen the side effects you're experiencing from uh, Diclofenac, so you should minimize to moderate your consumption. Regarding food, there are no restrictions or limitations, and you can buy Diclofenac with any form of food. If you're looking at the dose, it's always best to lose, uh, use the lowest possible dose, which still is effective, to minimize possible side effects. If you use Diclofenac for fever and pain, and you don't have it on prescription, but just bought it at the pharmacy yourself, you're an adult or a child older than 14 years, you should start with 25 milligrams, and your next dose should be 12 and a half or 25 milligrams. And continue this every four to six hours if necessary. To a maximum up to 75 milligrams a day, you can maximally do this three days for when you have a fever or five days for when you have pain, if you still need diclofenac after three or five days, contact your doctor for the right approach. For children, you can only get it on prescription. And if your child is four months to 18 years, the correct dose would be one to three milligrams per kilogram a day and two to four doses divided for a maximum of 200 milligrams a day. If you are taking diclofenac on a prescription for joint disorders like arthrosis or arthritis you can use 150 milligrams a day divided over two to three doses and for long-term use it's a bit lower it's 75 to 100 milligrams a day and two to three doses for children if you're using diclofenac for juvenile idiopathic arthritis um, the correct dose would be one and a half to two milligrams per kilogram a day divided over two to three doses and lastly if you're using Diclofenac in a gout, acute gout attack, you can use 150 milligrams a day divided over two to three doses for one to two, three, uh, three days. And afterwards, if your symptoms are decreasing, you can also decrease the dose you need. Then, side effects. Diclofenac has many side effects. These are just a few of them. So often, one to 10% of all people will receive a headache, dizziness, vertigo, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, cramps, flatulence, or a skin rash, and a little bit rare are palpitations or chest pain. If you think that you have a side effect, please contact your doctor and uh, see what he has to say about it. Then lastly, regarding pregnancy, diclofenac is not safe to use in pregnancy, neither in the first nor in the third trimester, and may even lead to miscarriages, so please don't use it. Regarding lactations, diclofenac passes in the breast milk, but can be used safely. However, it's advised to do only do so for short term in a low dose. This was my brief overview for diclofenac. If you want a little more information, please check out my professional in-depth guide. and You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.